Jenny McCarthy Show. Oh! In studio with me right now, Jamie Morton, James Cooper, and Alice Levine. The podcast. I don't know if you heard it, but it's amazing. My dad wrote a porno. Welcome, guys. Hello. Hi. Thanks for having us. Let's brag for a minute. With over <laughs> 100 million downloads, Hollywood fans, including Elijah Wood, Daisy, Daisy Ry- Ridley, sorry, Nicholas Blah Blah, and Michael Sheen, <laughs> and gave rave reviews. <laughs> Time Magazine. I mean, it, the list goes on and on. Michelle, a huge fan. How um, fun is it? Oh, I mean, it's it's so much fun. I mean, Nicholas Blah Blah loves the show more than we do. More than my dad does. Nicholas even. Blah Blah brags about it on Twitter constantly. I hear he just does not shut up about it. Yeah. Um, no, it's it's a really fun show. Um, we just get to dissect my dad's terrible erotic novel. I mean, what could be more fun than that? And these two are so razor sharp with their wit. It's 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 just a joy to behold, to be honest it with you. It really is. I mean, the last time you guys were on, I was just... just it just I was so excited because it was such a, a weird concept that yeah. worked so well. I know it, it just shouldn't work, should it? But it does. It shouldn't. It yeah. shouldn't. Now, for those of us that so for some people that don't know what the fuck we're talking about, explain what you mean. Yeah. So basically, my dad is a is a retired builder from Northern Ireland, and when he retired, he decided to start writing erotica in the garden shed, um, <laughs> unbeknownst to my mother, poor woman, um, and the book. Is so terrible. Like, I mean, it's terrible on many levels, but he can't spell, the grammar's awful, and the sex is just nonsensical and gross that I had to immediately share it with James and Alice, my two friends. Um, and we decided to just share it with the world, read a chapter a week, dissect this thing, and really get into the, nit- the nitty gritty of why my dad. The titty gritty, really. The titty gritty of yeah. why my dad was able to have children at all because you wouldn't think he would be able to, given his uh, prose. And I can't remember, is he still alive? Um, he's he is currently with us. Um, <laughs> my, my 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 mother's about to kill him at any moment. I think. Any literature really that has died. <laughs> yeah. Now, what has he said about the fame that you've guys gotten because of this? Oh, he is the biggest fan of my dad wrote a porno, which is interesting that someone is such a a huge unashamed fan of their own right? work. It's interesting. <laughs> uh, he he isn't very modest, my dad, uh, but he loves it. You know, he's he's been able to um, share in the kind of yeah the phenomenon that has been this podcast, um, and he gets to chat with fans on Twitter. He gets to you know oh become my God, a kind he of love it. Yeah, exactly, because he he knows not what he's doing, Jenny. To be honest with you. I don't know if he understands why it's funny either. No, the no. Stu- I'm not sure he realizes the bits that are funny. <laughs> yeah. Um, so he doesn't mind when people laugh at it. No, no, because he thinks that he's working on a play in above us all. You see, <laughs> so he thinks oh. that actually one day we're all going to get where he's coming from, and we'll have egg on our faces. He could think that we're just shy little young exactly. folks exactly. that are embarrassed yeah, yeah. by it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But we know that you can't grab a cervix, so the joke is definitely <laughs> on him. Um, we're just not sure if he'll ever. It's not that you can't, with that. it's that you shouldn't and you would kill someone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Is your book, is it more of a trashy novel than a porno? I mean, or? we don't like to use the word novel because it's more just a collection of words on a page <laughs> the, than any kind of novel. The premise is uh, 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 our heroine, Belinda Blinked, uh, sorry, Belinda Blumenthal, mm. oh my God, I don't even know her own book, um, <laughs> works in the world of po- pots and pans, which is obviously the, the sexiest industry so going. So sexy. I mean, um, cookware, come on. And she just shags around to make the deal like literally she can't do a deal without having sex and sometimes and that's, that that puts people off but she doesn't care <laughs> i mean catch us up at where she is now because she's come a long way since the last time you guys were on yeah what sex well, is she having she, well, she's <laughs> having sex all over the world i mean every continent has now been ticked off i think um she actually and this is a little bit weird my dad ended the the third book with like a huge clit hanger or cliffhanger um, uh, and the whole book changes it's this kind of weird scene set in east berlin which as we all know doesn't exist anymore but um <laughs> this this kind of special one in this 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 leather suit is meeting with an etch an, an ex kgb operative um called bish and it turns out that there's a mole in the pots and pans business that belinda no. works yes, yes i know Jenny, can you imagine it's some um, it's such a twist. It's like the Red Wedding. It's changed yeah. everything. <laughs> it's changed everything. It's and, like the um, Red Wedding. <laughs> and my dad now thinks that he can write. I mean, he can't, but uh, it's actually starting to 
have a plot which is exciting and worrying because where's it going to go? But he he obviously he doesn't need a plot as no, we all you exactly, know exactly yeah. But is I want more from him. Is he still writing? We can't legally stop him from writing. We have <laughs> tried. Um, he is still in that garden shed, which he calls the, the pavilion because he has illusions of grandeur, obviously. Um, so, yes, he is continuing to write. Yes. Is your mother embarrassed or just loving it? My mother's left. My mother is no longer with him. Um, no, I'm joking. <laughs> oh, I was like, oh my God, I'm just, I just made him really terrible. No, 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 no. She's actually really cool. She's kind of a little bit like, who cares? You know, oh, good. Oh, you good. do you. You know, Rocky. I don't really care. She's banned it from the house, so that's uh, as long as he doesn't get involved in 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 the building. Then See, if I good. were her, I would want to read every page to know what goes on in the mind of my soulmate. Would you, or would you just want to block it out? No, I want to know. I want to know. I know that my husband, when I met him, he was like, "I'm like, what turns you on?" Because I'm a Scorpio. He's like, "Right, you know, like a naughty wig." So, like, I change my hair color constantly. Really? Oh, because I'm like, okay, I'm gonna, re- I'm gonna remember these little things that turn him yeah. on and keep it going. So I keep shit hot. But, but what would Jamie's mum do? Just walk around with Get a wok all pants. the time? Yeah, just have a saucepan swinging around yes, the head. Exactly. Yeah, maybe. I mean, this is a really uncomfortable conversation, but sure. <laughs> How, have you calculated how many times that she had sex? Not your mother, but uh, Belinda. <laughs> That's oh. a good question. We have worked know. out that she's barely stopped to eat or sleep or wash yeah. uh, since the books began. And she, on average, has sex once a chapter. So I'm yes. guessing it's 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 upward of it's in the 30s. 40, yeah, 30, 40 times. How does he describe coming, climaxing? Well, in myriad ways, one character comes blue semen. That's had, not he, a thing. He had a botched um, kind of penis. Was it an enlargement or just an or, or An enhancement. <laughs> so, yeah, it was something. An addition. Uh, but he had it done in the Amazon basin, where which isn't famed for its um, penis. Clinics. No. Um, and so, yeah, it went a bit wrong. And then now he... He comes blue. Yeah, he, he comes, comes actually. Blue. It's very on brand actually for Sirius XM. <laughs> yeah, it's... you guys. I, I want to remind my listeners, you guys, that this is this is real. They're not making up yeah. the scenario. His dad, he had literally found these writings mm. from his father over the course of how many years? Uh, that that he's been writing. Yeah. That, oh, he's yeah. been writing for for at least six months. I mean, he is prolific. <laughs> he can write like anyone. I mean, he started. When did he start? He retired. Yeah, in two thousand and fourteen. So yeah, I guess it's been a it's, it's been a few years now. It's modern yeah. day though. I think some people think yeah. that Jamie dusted off an old leather bound book. It's not modern. It's like so. This is current thinking. Even well, though he's saying things like fax machine, he thinks it's modern day. Yeah. So to to him, it's when he last learned about technology and potentially about sex. Yeah. So it's exactly. Sort of like, yeah. I'd say anchored mid seventies. Yeah. Everyone's got a pager. Um, no one knows what they're doing. There's kind of awkward, you know, generalisations, sexism going around. It's it it's, quite isn't... Obsessed. it's quite naive and sweet in some ways. In some ways it is. There's yeah. a lot of... Um... But she hasn't even eaten yet. What are you talking about? <laughs> She's starving. Did she, has she gone to a gynecologist appointment once? Did we she have are STD wait- yet? You know, it took three books to get her showered. Um, so Did she have some knows. scrambled eggs one time? Oh, she did. But oh, I think she, had, she, yeah, she, she had just, a bacon sandwich, I think, one day. Oh, well. she also had some blue cheese fish mousse, if that uh, appeals to you at all. <laughs> the podcast is called My Dad Wrote a Porno. Now, what is the oddest sexual situation that ne- these novels have brought up? Oh, wow. Oh, that's a good so question. Much, what a smorgasbord to pick from, yeah. right? Um, there's, I mean, the, the maze was pretty strange. The yeah. garden maze, I think based on Hampton, uh, Hampton Garden uh, yeah. Court, which is a royal garden <laughs> in England. Um, and she was uh, basically being visited by various major players in the pots and pans industry <laughs> in the maze. Uh, and at one point was attached to a trellis, which was actually designed just to grow some roses up. But uh, luckily, it was only with some plastic handcuffs. She could break free at any yeah, moment. It's important. Yeah. It's oh, an important little symbol- detail there. Symbolic binding. She, yeah. plastic um, plastic. she visits a, a Belgian chocolate factory and has <laughs> sex with a woman in in a kind of Willy Wonka chocolate fountain. <laughs> That, that's quite bizarre. He yeah. clearly just watched Willy Wonka in the chocolate factory. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> or just very hungry. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah. She ate there. She ate there. She just opened her mouth. Oh, she have ate you, a lot of you, things there. Have you ever asked your dad, Gross. Dad, where did the pots and pans come from? Yes, because actually he is obviously really proud of the fact that he's writing this erotica, but he also sees these books as vital business and leadership manuals. So he thinks it's his business acumen 
put in condensed yeah, yeah in a way that people can just enjoy and it'll just you know wash <laughs> over them and they'll understand that actually a cost center is a really useful thing to get your head around kind of shark tank style like yeah you exactly could imagine being on there helping out with i guess i'm guessing cookware based businesses yeah he is the mark cuban of porn Oh my God, I'm just dying right now. When it, I want this so badly to be made into like a drunk history visual thing. Right, yeah, wow. Well. I want actors to portray this. I want it acted out. Can Is it going to be? Tell me. You need to come to the live show, Jenny. Yeah, we when we, our live show, which we're doing at the moment around the US, which is why we're here in the first place, uh, we have audience members come up and actually kind of recreate scenarios so we can test whether this actually is possible. And if it works on its feet. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Which, which nine times out of ten it doesn't, but it's worth a try and uh, <laughs> we give it a good go. But yeah, we start to kind of visualise and think, you know, how could this be, c- can it actually happen? And we're having all sorts of exciting conversations while we're over here about, you know, what could we do with it next? Could it be? A yes. I mean, I absolutely think it could be a drunk history type yeah, thing. I want, totally. I want it on my phone. I want your dad's erotica <laughs> played out by Julia Roberts and yeah. whoever else. <laughs> be careful what you what, what you wish for, but yes, that could and absolutely happen. Speaking of Julia Roberts, who could play her? Like, Ooh. who could not play Julia? Who, Belinda, who, who could she be? Well, the guests on the show have all kind of had dibs on who they want. Yeah. So, um, Michael Sheen wanted... He wanted Dr. Robbins, a creepy character. Less said about him, the better. Daisy Ridley from Star Wars, she wanted to play the Duchess in Prosthetics because it's an older character. She thought uh. they should uh, put in some favours for the old Star Wars yeah. crew. No one's actually taken Belinda yet, and I feel like yeah. It's a, the role of a lifetime. It's yes. the one that's going to win you your Oscar. So I don't know why no, everyone's not chomping at the bit. I think they're all being way too polite. I know you can have her, no, you can have her. But then when it comes to the casting call, they're all going to kill each other J-Law. to get that role. I feel like J Law will be good. J Law. Well, Jennifer Lawrence, she's, she's having a hiatus. Oh. We'll have to wait for her. Oh, that's right. She quit to become an activist too, right? Yeah, don't mm. they all? How much different is your show live than when you guys are just sitting around? Is it. Is it more. Um, are you, is there more pressure? Because you're like, what if this doesn't fucking. Land. work right yeah. now yeah I mean what's great about the show is that people drink throughout oh, so most that makes people anything are funny. Drunk. yeah exactly <laughs> you know loads of liquor and vaginas flying around you, you're gonna have a great night um, it is yeah it's just a really fun evening isn't it really and we really we, so we, we do play a drinking game throughout just to kind of get everyone in the mood it's, it's a very much a party show and people are so up for it people come dressed up as the characters um, really yeah people mm. are really obsessed um, with my dad's world in the best way and so it does feel like we're in this big community of perverts which is brilliant I mean who could want anything more and we've tried to make it like more visual like we try you know there's a something we can do with the visual like now people can see us like I say we can do recreations Alice does a whole wonderful presentation on the female reproductive system and where bits are yeah. so it's a kind of a geography <laughs> lesson of female anatomy we should anatomy. probably show that to dad at some point we should well. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I was going to say, has he been on tour with you at all? He hasn't. He has seen the show um, in the UK. but um, And he does send us suggestions. He'd really like yeah. there to be a theme park uh, of Belinda Blinked. Um, yeah. Yeah. And he's actually found a plot in central London that he'd like, <laughs> which I think <laughs> no. currently has yeah. um, houses and office buildings on it, but I presume he wants us to bulldoze Can you imagine those. just like the teacups, but it's just a vagina? Oh Keep your hands God. and legs inside the vagina at all times. Thank you. He has a lot of good spin-off business ideas, <laughs> which does. may never come to fruition. Yeah. <laughs> Is he uh, medicated at all? <laughs> He's yes, fully lucid. With gin, yeah. <laughs> with gin. gin, yeah. I mean, it's totally still like <laughs> unbelievable. Like, I'm still trying to think if it was my dad, mm. would I want this out there in the world? And the answer would be. How could I not? Well, this is it exactly, and also How I think I it's not? more, it's 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 more unhealthy just to kind of repress it, right? You know, you just got to get it out there, Don't share keep it. In it. The family. Don't <laughs> keep it in. You know, God knows what will happen. I'll be in therapy for forever, um, and it is you know brilliant because we are giving my dad a, a new audience that he wouldn't have found god knows on his own um so <laughs> it is kind of nice as well that, did um, you guys bring any to read some um yeah we have a book shall i, I give you love a, it a little i would blast? absolutely love to give a little bit of a blast okay. while well, i'm going to promote you guys again they're going to be performing Ooh. uh the show live in new york city at town hall mm. and here they are okay my dad <laughs> belinda blinked It wasn't a dream. The job interviewer had just asked her to remove her jacket and silk blouse. (laughs) Oh, God. Already excellent. Slowly, with the the hint of a tease, Belinda removed the two garments. Her black brassiere was doing overtime to contain her full breasts. (laughs) 
So uh, within that's them. the first thing Jamie read, that's obviously. The first and line. And when he first read it to us, we were in a very respectable country pub, and everyone <laughs> was having like really nice family gatherings. And then he was like, uh, "And her labia," and we were like, "Okay, <laughs> let's order dessert. Let's take yeah. a break." Uh, <laughs> she knew she looked good, but she really felt like she wanted to keep her private pussy area hidden. <laughs> No! Oh, I mean, how disgusting is that? What's it, what's the area as well? Is that from like knee right. yeah. sort of hip? Like how far does that cover? Pussy? Oh, God. Please keep so, going. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to find some bits that aren't going to make me throw up. <laughs> um, there, are, there, are, there are key puke can points. You, there are, can you yeah. Imagine being the, the wife. I'm still just dying. The like, wife. I, but there's something really universal as well. Of course, not everyone's dad has written erotic literature, but yeah. everyone's dad is embarrassing. Dads are yes. just inherently embarrassing. Okay, here, guys, here, here we go, here we go. Now sit down and relax, Miss Blumenthal, said the interviewer. In fact, just spread your legs wide so we can get a good look at your internal attributes. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, Belinda lay back in the leather chair and spread her legs wide as requested. Her vaginal lids <laughs> popped open and her labial pinkness was there for them to assess. <laughs> assess! She quickly became moist and a runnel of liquid trickled down oh her lower God. left thigh. No! No! <laughs> That's my inner voice. How have you got my inner voice down so well? Yeah. I would paint my bathroom labial pink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining like, I, I would almost be scared to meet him because I would be wondering if he's thinking about my labia. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well. So, suddenly there'd be a character in the book with blue hair. <laughs> blue <laughs> hair, right? Changes her hair often. Different well, so colours, different Maybe chapters. I hooked up with the guy that had the blue semen. <laughs> yeah. You oh had a God. great night. Great night. <laughs> I swallowed way too much. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have done such a great job. Jamie Morton, James Cooper, Alice Levine. Thanks for coming again. My dad wrote a porno. I want to come to the Chicago one since I'm in Chicago. So yes, let us know when, when that is. And if you guys want tickets, where can they go to get some for uh, If you go to mydadwriteaporno.com forward slash live, you'll get all the details on there. For such live. There you go. <laughs> there you My go. dad wrote a porno if you guys want to check out the podcast. Also, thank you so much. Congratulations on your success. Thanks. Oh, thank Thanks you for you having Jenny. us. Thank you. Thanks, you guys. Here's to Blue Seaman and <laughs> Belinda <laughs> taking a shower more. We'll be right back. Jenny McCarthy Show. Oh! 